Hey guys, I'm going to show you how to install and set up Android Studio on Windows. Let's get started. First, open the website developer.android.com studio to download Android Studio. I'll provide this link in the description. Click download Android Studio. Scroll down. I have read and agree with the above terms and conditions. Download on Android Studio the latest version. For Windows. Yes, Android Studio is downloading. Wait, please. Executable file have been downloaded. Then open file or open folder and open the file. Double click on it. Next to continue. Next to continue. Next once more and install. Android Studio is installing. We can show details. Android Studio installation complete. Click Next to finish, start Android Studio and finish. Then down to input settings, click OK. Welcome to Android Studio, click Next. Before it, click Send or Don't Send data to Google. I choose Don't Send. Next, choose Standard Settings and Options, click Next. Choose Dark or Light Mode, click Next. Choose Android SDK, the latest Android version, choose performance for our virtual device and choose Android virtual device if available. For me it's unavailable now. We can fix it later. Click Next. Required component missing. We will fix it later. Click OK. Click Next. Accept license agreement. Select Accept. Choose the other license agreement. Click Accept to. And after that click Finish. Start and download. We can show details. We see the installing SDK patch. Wait, please. Install Android emulator. It's important if you have a pop up window to give an access to this application, Android Studio, please give the access. After that, click Finish and let's start new project. Click New Project. Choose Empty Activity. Click Next. Change the name of your application, for example, my first application and click Finish. Downloading SDK Platform 33. Wait until actions are completed and click Finish. We have our first application in Android Studio. Allow access if needed. Allow access. Wait please when the project will be downloaded. We have the main activity file and wait please while project structure will be loaded. We see that Gradle is building, inputting Gradle project. It might take a long time the first time. Next time the project should load much faster. The opening is over. We don't have open processes. Let's get started. First we have project structure with main activity file. It's a main file. And also in resources layout we have activity main.xml. It's a layout file of our application. We can split the code and see what we have. Zoom in and we see that we have a hello world application. We can change, for example, name hello codex coder and we see that our text have been changed. And now let's try to run our application on emulator. To do this, click run app and it's error we haven't attached to run the app. Let's fix it. Click No Devices. Open Device Manager. We can open it here. Device Manager. Choose Virtual Device. Or you can use a physical device. It's even easier and faster. In this case, I'll show you how to create a virtual device. Click Create Device. Choose any phone with necessary resolution. I will use a Pixel 2, for example. Click Next and choose a system version. You can use any version on your device. I'll choose the latest version, but the latest version may take up more memory. Click Download the latest version. Download. The latest version is 1.4 GB. Wait while requested actions are completed. And after, click Finish. We have the latest Android version on our emulator, click Next. You can rename your device. Notice that we have a recommendation 
HAXM is not installed, let's install it. Click Install. Set the maximum amount of RAM available. I will use recommended definition 2 GB. Click Next. It has been installed successfully. Click Finish and Finish again. We have the new virtual device in Device Manager. Let's try to run it. Click Run the application. And we have the error HAXM is not installed, although we installed it. Let's try to fix it. Next step. Open the Windows Settings, Start, Settings, choose Apps, Next, Programs and Features, and here, turn Windows Features on or off. Check that you have Hyper-V because Hyper-V provides services and management tools for creating and running virtual machines and their resources. And HAXM means Hardware Acceleration Executable Manager. Then Install Hyper-V with Hyper-V platform. Click OK. Apply changes. Windows completed the requested changes and needs to reboot your PC to finish installing. Restart now. After reboot, open Android Studio again and run again the emulator. Gradle build running. It's good. We can close one window. Close Device Manager to see our emulator better. It can take some time, the first time. Wait, please. Emulator is starting. Application is installing. Launch succeeded. The application has started. Everything is good. We are ready to develop applications in Android Studio. If you still have a problem with running the emulator, watch my video on how to run the application on a real phone. I'll leave the link in the description. Hope this video was helpful. Thanks for the watching. Like, subscribe. Have a nice day, have a good coding, see you!